Hey, this is Taylor Umongus has, and I'll be playing The Age of Feudalism, which is a flash game. And this will be a walkthrough. So, uh, let's start. New game. Uh, uh, I'm gonna play as Nyora. No. Well, e either one of these two. And then I'm going to use all of the skill on the Far East weapons. And then start journey. So now I have 80 skill points for Far East weapons, which means now I'll switch out the apprentice staff with the short katana. Yeah. And the. Uh, um, might as well just keep the bow here. Save. Uh, and first, I'll go to the city called Matsuyama. Oh, look, perfect. Now uh, I can deliver a package to that city. Oh, city hall. Uh, yeah, I just tried to do this for any city you want to go to. Buy the hard kimono. And the bandana. Equip them. Save. Next, I'll be going to Ismo. This one is Mo. Luckily, I haven't had to go through any battles yet. Save. Now get the silver shuriken and the hood. And switch. And uh, might as well put the silver shuriken as the first weapon. And then the kit short katana second. <coughs> and then sell these. Save. Alright, let's just keep delivering packages, building up more gold. Save. Wait, actually, this time let's deliver one to Omi, your starting city. Uh, let's just go to Kazook first then. Providing support fire with the silver shuriken. <laughs> wow, they, they never want me to deliver a package to Omi. Uh, finally. Uh, 
save. Alright, let's uh, raise up an army of Taekwans. And, well, my next goal is to capture the Count of Ko Kozuk, so I'm just gonna spend all of this on Taekwans. The apprentices are too expensive. And uh, well, actually, I'll save up some for the potions, health potions. Save. Oh, I'm about to sell all these. Okay, and maybe oh, uh. yeah, I was gonna go back to Omi now that I have some gold and then sell all those items to my more good ones. Well, now that I've leveled up, uh, let's. Uh, constitution, ten points, and then five points for Far East weapons. Save. Uh, buy ten Tycoons. And then save and capture Kozuk. Oh. Yeah, these are some powerful enemies. Can't be going back and forth too much. Well, let's just spend the rest of this on the potions. Save and then capture. I'll stand back and give support fire with the soldier. Sell all these. Okay, I don't sell the blue ones yet. But for the blue ones, first go into inventory to see what they do. Well, these, uh, this really is unholy, so let's just sell it. I'm gonna increase dexterity to 60. And it's been the rest on yeah, constitution. It'll give the player more health. The reason I'm not gonna spend it on strength yet is because I'm still relying on the silver shuriken and strength just increases damage for melee weapons. He's supposed to deliver a package to this city. It's the one that has the apprentice katana. And then let's deliver one to Ismo.
reward. And here in Ismo, you'd buy the gold ninja armor. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good armor. Save. So, so the silver shuriken deals ten to fifty damage. The ninja boat is twenty to sixty. It has a slightly lower attack speed. Oh, I might switch out the silver shuriken for a ninja bow. It has longer range. Save. Well, let's do more quests. Deliver a package to that city. And save. And deliver a package to Kozuk. Save. Next, I'm gonna capture Matsuyama, so uh, I'll raise up an army of high apprentices. Okay. Ten more. Save. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a pretty easy game. Feudalism 2 is harder, and then Feudalism 3 is the hardest. And again, don't sell the blue ones yet. Increases critical strike chance by 10 and damage by 20. Well, I, I kind of need my range weapon, so I'll just sell this blue weapon. And, and then use it on these medium heal potions. Save. And then capture. Giving support fire with my bow. Still wasn't powerful enough to take this city over yet. So what I'm going to do now is keep delivering packages, building up gold, and then getting even more high apprentices.
ต้องมีอีก another thing I might sell all my taekwons because uh, they're practically nothing compared to the high apprentices <laughs> and they're sold for only a quarter the price you bought them twelve. Package. Save. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of battles. Uh, hmm. Might have leveled up. Let's go to inventory. Oh, I did level up. Ten points in dexterity. Oh, twelve. And I'm gonna save this one up for the next level up. Oh, actually, this time let's deal with some rogues, because they they can give you level ups. These rogues don't stand a chance. Yeah, the crossbows in this game do a lot of damage. Good thing Feudalism 2 has a sell all button, so you can just click it once and everything will, will be sold except for the runes. They all keep delivering packages. Well, now my goal is to get the dexterity to 85. So now I'll go after some rogues.
Another level up. Now my dexterity can go to 85. Hmm. Save. Well, yeah. and save. And then sell all these. And then again leave the blue ones out. So that you can go into the inventory. Increases damage by 20 to 50, HP by 20, defense by 10, dodge chance by 2. 37 constitution well actually I won't be needing any of these anymore now that I have 85 dexterity well let me get the Ronin Katana switch these out And then, oh. Let's go over to Etchigo. Save. And here. So. <laughs> and then there's this weapon, Black Spirits. It's a shuriken. Yeah. And so the ninja bow. Samurai mask. Switch this out. And then next I'm going to try to get the black samurai armor. Uh, and then try to build up enough gold to sail back to the main island. Uh, still with some rogues. And I'll sell all these. Ugh. Itchy. Now I'll have enough for the Black Samurai armor. And I also noticed I leveled up again. So now I have Black Samurai Armor, Samurai Mask, Black Spirits, and Rodin Katana. 
and uh, let's max it out on the Far East weapons. That way the Katana can be pretty powerful. The rest, maybe spend it on strength so that'll deal more melee damage. And then save. 2,000, or only 2,000 more. City of Nagoya. Oh, that's the one that's right next to it. Save. Package to Echigo. Oh. Yeah, let's just deal with some rogues. Now I'll have enough to sail away. So let's sail to Kota. Sail to Kozuk. <laughs> yeah, this was a really powerful shuriken. Uh, let's uh, raise up an army of high apprentices. Save. Matsuyama is the next city to capture. <laughs> the face. Oof. How about Constitution Strength? Five points for each. Save. Save. Try to capture the town. This time I'll be powerful enough since the player himself has these powerful weapons. <laughs> Second battle. Oh. Let's 
hide out here and have them come to me. Huh. Awesome. I leveled up. Well, let's spend it all on dexterity. 110. I like to save up 5 points. Burp. And save. And then get a bunch of Shogun guards. Uh, let's keep getting them until we have 1,250 gold left. Or... Alright, 1,500. And they get 5 Shadow Bowmen. 344, so that's enough for... Uh, Two high apprentices and two taekwons. <laughs> All right, let's save, and then we'll, we'll go after Izumo. <laughs> That's a really powerful shuriken. Sell all these. Yeah, for some reason in this game, the ranged weapons always have a 100% hit chance. Which means at the beginning, rely on shurikens, and then wait for the end before you start relying on melee weapons. Alright, let's capture the town. right now because I have some armor from Echigo. Captured Ismo. Let's sell all these Samurai Bow. Black Spirit 70 to 230, Samurai Bow 30 to 80. Uh, nothing can beat the Black Spirits as a range weapon. Yeah, let's keep the Holy Ninja Toes. Increased dexterity to 120. Yeah, that's as high as it can go. Let's add 5 points of constitution. 10 points to strength. Uh, 5 more. Constitution. And uh, 5 more to constitution. And then sell all these. Look how much gold I have now. Yeah, let's just buy a bunch of these bowmen. Dodge 68%. And the Elite Ninja dodge 60%. 
So yeah, the bowmen are definitely better. They also have a hit rate of 100. Yeah, it's kind of a pain to have to drag all these guys in. Be sure to save up enough for you to set sail. Make enough for two sails, so leave 8,000 gold. Alright, 8,000. Save. Let's sail over to... Uh, it should go. Yeah, th these are probably the best bowmen in the game. And then I'll get the darkness. It's the best katana in the game. Now let's deliver packages back and forth. Package to Omi. Well, actually, let's deal with some rogues. Yeah, I'm not really going to worry about the blue weapons anymore. I already have pretty much the best arsenal in the game. <laughs> this time let's increase constitution. I'm just going to increase constitution from now on and set sail. Let's go to uh, Med Medvedevo. Not sure if they're gonna be easy to capture, but uh, I'll do it anyways. land cities are red. Marksman's holy bow. Oh, hit chance by five critical. Uh, 
Sağlı ol da olsun. And keep increasing constitution. Okay, I still have a lot of bowmen. Oh, forest keeper. Hey, th these might be even better than the ghost bowmen. Oh, 450 hit points. Let's get some health potions. Save. Go to Gruzeno. And no. Oh. Yeah, sell everything we sell everything <laughs> suffering only 200x ah. keep increasing constitution save now if you want to know why I chose this town to capture well, there's a unit called the Great Hero, 1,500 GP, 1,000 hit points, uh, 62 defense. Yeah. <laughs> Five of these up front. These bowmen in the back. Then these berserkers and then more bowmen. Yeah, this is probably the best unit in the game. Now let's go to that harbor. <laughs> then go to Nagoya. Which will be easy to capture now. Alright, we kept 
Richard Nagoya. And then, let's sell all of these. Whoa, so some of my great heroes died. That, that means that Nagoya is pretty powerful. But uh, now let's get some samurais. The back row full of ghost bowmen. And then more samurais in, to be in reserve. <clears throat> Save, and then now let's go to Echigo, save, and then try to capture. wasn't as hard as they thought it would be. No, let's uh, save. Now that you capture Echigo, you have access to the Black Samurai, which is also one of the best units in the game, alongside with that other one, the Great Hero. Well, this will be the end of the walkthrough, because by this point, Winning the game will be easy, because we'll, we'll just be conquering other towns one by one, and constantly coming back to Echigo and Gruseno to get, you know, these really powerful units. And, uh, 